Recently, we told you about Dak Prescott, Ezekiel Elliott, and Des Bryant, all training together during the pandemic. And we briefly introduced you to the man at the heart of those workouts, David Robinson, better known as D-Rob. Well, you did it better than me. But before he was a skills coach for Des, before he was overseeing workouts from some of the Cowboys' biggest stars of the past decade, he was a kid from DeSoto with dreams of playing on Sundays. I ended up playing my college ball at the University of Oklahoma, played there from uh, 2002 to 2006, played in two national championships. It was at OU where one of D-Rob's coaches planted the seed for coaching. So when I got done playing football, I started substitute teaching at my old high school, Kimball High School, and helping out with their football program. D-Rob trained kids from the DFW area. They grew up, went on to play in college, some to the NFL. Word of mouth just started spreading. They started telling their friends in college and their buddies on their teams they were with. Now his dreams of playing on Sundays are carried out by dozens of his clients. There you go, baby. Antonio Brown, Adrian Peterson, Dez Bryan, of course. Mm. Emmanuel Sanders. Way to get rid of him, boy. Chris Godwin. Jerry Judy. Here we go. Jalen Rieger, who just got drafted. They tight, they tight. Is it hard to keep track? It's hard. It's hard. It's hard when people put you on the spot. If I had my, if I had a club, it'd probably be a line, a line waiting outside of it. <laughs> Just a lot. But the VIP table belongs to his wife and four kids, who also keep him on his toes. My daughter, when she comes in, she already has the cones and stuff already out on the ground. She's only two years old, so she knows what daddy does, and she re- and she ready to get that work too when I come home. When I first started off training and things like that. Not so many people knew who I was. I wasn't a high demand like that. And, and that just goes to show the work that you put in and the work that you put out that they respect it and they want, and they want a lot of it. So um, I don't take it for granted at all. In Dallas, I'm Jonah Javad.